Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, official trainer for I Love Lacrosse TV. Speed kills. So today, I know everyone always wants to get faster. They ask me questions. How do I get faster? What are your top exercises? Today, I'm going to show you my three go-to exercises for developing speed. Um, the, the first thing I want to tell you, the, the important thing, the way we develop speed in athletes is by really focusing on the acceleration phase, so the first 10 yards. So when you sprint, there's three phases of a sprint. There's the, just think of a 40 yard sprint. Zero to 10 is the acceleration. 10 to 30 is top speed. I think that's what most of us think when we're upright, pumping our arms, running, right? And then the last 10, 30 to 40 yards is the deceleration phase when we stop. Team sports, 95% is played in acceleration, the first Zero, the zero to 10 yard range, the acceleration. So that's what we focus on. I'm gonna show you my three go-to exercises that'll make anybody faster. All right, so now we're gonna go into what is my best, the number one exercise for developing sprinting speed or speed of any kind, really. And those are prowler marches, so heavy prowler marches. And to explain why this is so important, I'll try to do this real quick because I don't wanna to get too technical, but the question I always ask is, who wins the race? And the answer is the person that takes the least amount of steps. So if you know who Usain Bolt is, who's the best sprinter in the world, when he won the gold medal last summer, he took four less steps than the guy that came in second place, right? So that is called stride length, and that's how we're gonna build that with this. So basically, building power and strength where you can propel yourself further forward through the ground than the guy that you're running against. So, Here's how we're going to do it. So try to stay as soon as you can. I'm going to start on both knees. See how his hands are halfway down the poles? He's going to pop his head through. I like the arms bent so that you can really lean in. Now pop out. Good. So see how his knee is always going to stay in front of his toe. We do not want his... Can you do it the other way? Push your foot in front. We don't want his knee behind his toe, okay? So get back. Do it again. Get set. Now put it go. He's going to push the turf back with his toe. Keep going a little faster and see how it's full extension. He gets his leg completely straight. Stop, completely straight at your back. You can see you kill it. So the reason that this is so important is because the way we develop speed and power, especially in team sports, is in the acceleration phase. Which, when we run straight up, that's just top speed, right? We don't get power from reaching forward with our leg. Our power is, comes from reaching, pushing back through the hip. And this, I have found the only exercise that mimics that, and it does it in a slow manner without having to do sprints, and it's just amazing, amazing results. Heavy prowler marches. All right, guys, now for my second favorite um, exercise to develop speed in athletes. It's the glute ham raise, like a traditional glute ham raise, but this is going to be an eccentric glute ham raise. So eccentric basically means the down phase. We're gonna focus on the way down. It's a three second eccentric exercise. Let me just have him do it and then I'll point out why it's so important. Are you ready, bud? So as you can see, you can do it on your own without a spot. Hook your heels under the dumbbell rack here. Go. Three, two, one, good. Come back up. The important part is the way down, the eccentric coat. And it's all hamstrings. You're trying to develop hamstrings. Good. So relax. So, um, like I said earlier, working on acceleration, I mean, is all you have to do is work at a sprinter. You know, have you ever watched the Olympics or something like that? They have very developed posterior, right? So hamstrings and glutes. When we're reaching back in the acceleration phase, that's where all our strength comes from, which, you know, allows us to be fast and powerful. So the glute ham raise is awesome. I think this is a great version. You can weight it, as you see. You can put chains on it or whatever once you become a little more advanced. Um, but eccentric glute ham raise. All right, guys. So. My third favorite exercise to develop speed in athletes is just a regular glute bridge. So obviously we're still talking about developing the back of the body. Um, I just showed you a hamstring exercise. The glute bridge is going to really isolate the glutes, right? So the most important muscle for an athlete is definitely the glutes. You should look better leaving than you should come in, right? So as you see the setup here, here's a little closer, about eight to 12 inches from your butt, toes up. So we really push that heel on the ground to activate our glutes, go. Lock out at the top for two seconds, squeeze those glutes as hard as you can, down, and right back up. If you notice here, the shoulder, hip, knee, you know, he doesn't go above it, go higher. If you go any higher, you might put some strain on the lower back. 
down. So you want it to, you're up at the top, you want your knee, hip, and shoulder to be even. Weighted glute bridges. I hope you guys liked our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout that will help you add 10 miles per hour to your shot, just click here or click the link in the description, enter in your email, and I will send it directly to your email. Don't forget to subscribe, like us, or leave a comment. Until next time, keep working.